2021 Saddler's Creek Hunter Valley Rosé. I really love rosé. Why do I love this wine? Because with this style of wine, there's no rules. In the winery, we can do whatever we want. Doesn't matter what variety you want to use, doesn't matter whether you want to ferment it in tank, do you want to put it in barrels, do you want to do a bit of both, do you want it sweet, do you want it dry? Rosé is where the action is. Because you get to pick the grapes, fiddle around with it, have some fun, get in the bottle and get it to you guys within 12 months and enjoy it. Now to me, what should rosé be? I really like dry styles of rosé. I don't like these wines sweet, that's just me personally. Uh, I like my rosé with a bit of colour. I don't like my rosés to look like white wine. I also don't really like my rosés to look like red wine, but anywhere in the middle, pretty much the sweet spot. Now here at Saddler's Creek, our 2021 Hunter Valley Rosé is produced 100% from locally grown fruit. It's a blend of Shiraz, Cabernet and Merlot, and the bulk of that fruit's off our own vineyard here at the winery. Now we hand pick that fruit, we bring it to the winery, we press it really quite delicately so we don't get too much colour um, pick up. So as you can see here, it's in the pink to slightly red spectrum, and then off into tank for fermentation. The fermentation process for this style of wine is relatively cruisy. We want to retain fresh fruitiness, we want to retain the aromatics of the wine, and we don't want to build too much body uh, into it because it is to be refreshing and easy to drink. Now after that, we do take a portion of this, we put it into old oak that we would have used previously for Chardonnay, just to get a little bit of richness and build a little bit of back palate. Food, really cruisy, easy to drink style of wine. Have it by itself in the sunshine with some friends or put it with an antipasta platter or maybe a pizza or something like that works really quite well. Now, don't forget, most important rule, like any wine, don't get it too cold. You really want to consume this wine about six to eight degrees. If it's too cold, you're going to lose the aroma, you're going to lose the flavor, and hey, you paid good money for that. We went to all the effort of making sure we retained that freshness when we made it. So drink it at the right temperature and enjoy it. Mm -hmm.